Hello kids, how are you all? Today, I have come with a wonderful story on importance of polite words. So are you all ready for the story? Here it comes. Once upon a time, there were two friends, Chris and Peter. They were having lunch in the school canteen. How's your lunch, Chris? Peter asked. Chris said, Mmm, it smells great. Mrs. Harris, the lunch lady, was really nice. She even noticed my new shirt. Peter said, Oh, she didn't say anything to me. In fact, Mrs. Harris seemed a little irritated when I asked for food, replied Peter. Chris said, Maybe you didn't use any polite words, Peter, when you asked for your food. Really? How did you ask for your food? asked Peter. Chris replied, Well, I got to the front of the lunch line. That time, Mrs. Harris was facing the other way. So I said, Excuse me, Mrs. Harris. And she turned around and asked me what I wanted to eat for lunch. So I asked, may I have some chicken, carrots and yogurt please? She told me, yes, you may. And then she put lots of food on my tray. I said, thank you very much Mrs. Harris. And then she said, you are welcome, Chris. That's a very nice shirt, Chris. Peter said, Wow, you are right. She was nice to you. Now, Chris asked, How did you ask for your food, Peter? Ah, I simply ordered. Give me some fish, green beans and yogurt. And then she gave me my food, but did not say anything nice to me. Chris said, she was probably angry, Peter, because you didn't use any polite words. Peter got sad and replied, oh, is it? But which words are polite words? Well, words like please. Thank you and excuse me. Peter asked, How do you use them? Can I use them anytime? Chris replied, Sure, when you ask for something like food, you should say, May I please have some food? And you should not forget to say thank you when someone does something nice for you. Peter then asked, Oh, what about excuse me, me? When should I use that? When you need someone's attention, but that someone is busy. You should say excuse me to let them know that you would talk to them. Just like you said to Mrs. Harris, Wow, Chris, you know so much about being polite. Thank you for helping me. Hey, I just used a polite word. Woohoo! I am so happy. Yeah, way to go, Peter. Very well said. All right, can we please eat our lunch now? I am hungry. Yes, we may. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. So children, I hope you all enjoyed the story. This story also gives us a message that we should always be polite to others. But because nobody likes to be around rude people. People who speak rudely. So children, Always speak politely. You should be polite. You should be polite to others to show your love, gratitude 
and gratefulness towards others. You know, we all know um, the magical words, please, thank you, excuse me. But my question is, how often do we use them? Do we use these words very often? No. So we should develop a habit of using these magical words very often to show our gratitude and love to others. So children, I hope you will follow this message. Bye-bye. It was nice. I will come again with another story.